Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Next topic to understand is the primitive scheduling versus non-primitive scheduling. Let's try to understand on a broad scale what you mean by this. Primitive simply means that if a particular process is going on up with some priority, a high priority process can stop it and then start its own working. Later on when the processing of this high priority thread is over, it will again pass control to the watch which has stopped. So consider this was P1, this was P2 and again P1 starts again. So that is print 2. That means any job can be broken immediately or rather stopped immediately and next higher priority process can take over. This has several disadvantages although because it is very tricky to stop a thread or a process in between but still we are able to achieve. non primitive on the other hand says one simple way in this if particular process is going around let's say P1 and P2 which has a high priority entered but P2 cannot interfere with P1 till the time P1 is over. So now P1 will get over and after that hopefully P2 starts. So that's primitive versus non primitive. Let's try to see what is the difference when it comes to. As I have said, it allows process to be interrupted in middle of its execution, taking CPU away, allocating to another process as we have shown up. It ensures that process relinquish control of the CPU only when it finishes. The major difference is in mid of this will only when it's finished. But preventive are very complex to build because suddenly something stops in between, we process that, then again start, then again stop, there would be issue. Hence we say it is complex to implement, whereas non-primitive are very simple to implement. Why? For the obvious reason, we are supposed to only look into one after another. Since it is complex in primitive, since it is complex, we make it costly to development or rather since due to complex nature of the system it becomes too complex and since it becomes too complex it will become costly whereas non primitive are cheaper because they are straightforward algorithm you have a higher overhead what do you mean by higher overhead which simply means all the data would be stored a jump would be performed action would be over then we would return back Whereas in this overhead is not maintained or even if so much lesser because here we are only taking the data, passing it, processing it and then simply going with the next process. Fifth process switches from running state to ready state and waiting state to ready state. Whereas non primitive process switches from running state to waiting state and process terminates. So these are the basic difference when it comes to. Primitive and non-primitive scheduling. That's it. Thanks for watching this video.